guys, Captain CA here. I'm in the Eldora. I want to share with you one of the most effective strategies and techniques that I use with my clients to catch fish on what I would say a consistent basis without having to be the best sight fisherman. That's right. Power fishing, swimming a jig, catches more fish in this boat and in the Marquesa than any other strategy that I have. And today I want to show you a little bit about how to swim a jig. Fishing open water zones like this, and today it's pretty brisk. The wind's really up. I'm getting on lee sides right now and I'm throwing down wind so I can cover a lot of water. Now I push pulled along this little pass here. It's in between two islands and it's just driving the water right through here nice and strong. I spied a couple of redfish when I pulled in here. I could see them pushing around so I know they're in here. But it's difficult, especially when you're by yourself, to be able to solo fish and catch these fish. So what I like to do is, if you look back here at the back of the boat, I've got my micro anchor set down there on the bottom. And I'm just going to throw downwind all through out here. There was probably one right there. I'm going to throw downwind out here. And the simplest retrieve there is, is you make your cast and then you just reel it back. There's no twitching, there's none of that stuff. I mean, you don't want to make any sudden moves in this skinny, shallow water. It's just in and out, in and out, in and out. And you can watch that bait swimming there in the water. In and out. And then it's back out again, making it 15 degrees to the left. I'm just gonna go around the clock here until I can catch, catch a fish. And I will catch a fish doing this because it works every time. You just gotta be where the fish are, but it, most of this stuff is just in and out stuff. This is a seven foot medium action rod. I've got it paired up with my Corrado. This is a 200 XG. I've packed it full of 20 pound tests so that I can make long casts, but I have an awful lot of control over the bait. Uh, one of my favorite setups really for power fishing like this, but swim in a jig. That's what I want you guys to do. You're gonna catch a lot more fish. You can change the colors up. If you look here, I'll swing this bait in. This bait is on a trout eye jig head. This is about a 3 16 And it's just the Creole Croaker, which is a fantastic color. But if you like blue glimmer, if you like opening night, if you like new penny, throw something you got a lot of confidence in. That's all you have to do. And you will catch a fish. So you're probably asking yourself, what does CA mean by swimming a jig? Well, really, swimming a jig is nothing more than taking a lead-headed jig, weight forward presentation, we do this all the time, it's pretty popular, and, and just pegging a paddle tail or some type of soft plastic to it where all you have to do is make a cast out and reel it back in. That's what we mean by swimming a jig. It could be a curly tail, paddle tail, could even be kind of a worm-like bait, but it works best where it's most popular, I would say, with a paddle tail. So you can cover immense amounts of water, whether you're using casting gear, spinning gear, it's something you need to have in your arsenal. Now I'm gonna jump up here, I'm gonna make a few casts, and hopefully catch a fish. If we do that, I can even show you more about the nuances of, of doing this style of fishing utilizing this strategy but it's just that it's just a good solid power fishing strategy that gets results ah, that's what I'm talking about a nice red fish just swim the jig like I was telling you earlier swimming a jig is a simple but the most effective way to fish it's the way I fish with most of my clients and if you just guys if you just take the time to just get the sight fishing out of your head some days and just think about I'm gonna power fish today I'm gonna catch some really nice fish I'm gonna catch numbers because I'm gonna cover a lot of water and that's what swimming a jig is all about this is a nice slot fish here beautiful fish get them all tangled up there uh, Buddy. 
swimming jigs are probably one of the favorites for a lot of tournament anglers as well. They love swimming jigs. Swimming jigs just works. Whoa, come on, buddy. A lot bigger than I thought you were. Ugh. Little Z-Man minnows. And as you can see, that is a healthy, respectable fish. All right, guys, you can see that's a nice redfish. And it comes so easy by just power fishing a jig. That's it. That's all you got to do. Let me let this guy go and let's let's talk a little bit more about what has to happen tackle wise just so that you're on the same page that I'm on. All right, let's recap the tackle a little bit. The tackle that we're using today, seven foot medium action rod. Uh, I've got the Corrado 200 XG. Uh, that's one of the workhorse casting reels from Shimano, but you could you could easily be using a 3000 size Stratic or, or Vanford. I've got my my reel packed with 20 pound braid, but uh, but you could go as high as 30. Uh, in a small skiff or a kayak, you can you can get a lot closer to these fish. I've got a piece of 25 pound fluorocarbon leader on my my rod setup here, and I'm just using a 3 16 ounce trout eye jig head from from eye strike it's a it's a great little jig head you can get them at z-man uh, peg to that i got a three inch creole croaker color which it looks a lot like the smaller mullet and pilchards that are in here and we're right at the end of the season where the bait's small and there's not a lot of it left so it's it's the perfect bait the key is is making that consistent long cast and reel it back just straight crank it no like i said earlier no popping and twitching and none of that stuff. Just out and in, out and in, out and in. You do that, you're gonna catch fish. I mean, it's really that simple on the breakdown. Hey everybody, if you like what you're seeing here on Flats Class YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. We need your support. And tell your friends, we want more subs. This is our job. It's to bring you out here in the field and teach you how to be a better angler. It's as simple as that. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson headed back to the ramp.